Hello people, you have seen the title of the video, you know what's in store. Today, we're going to see what is it like to play in a Broadway pit orchestra. Now, I am in fact not in Broadway, I am in Cincinnati, but a Broadway musical has come through town and I am one of the local pit musicians, so I'm going to show you what it's like in my position. First things first, we have to get to the theater, so let's go. Had to give y'all a cold start at the Subaru wagon. If you want to see my car channel, go to Rochelle's Garage on YouTube. Now, off to the theater. So we're currently stopped at a red light. Let me tell you a little bit about the musical. I am playing in Hello Dolly, playing the Re2 part, which is flute, clarinet, and alto saxophone. So, oh, it's green light, let's go. Another stoplight, so the show is a two week run, and today is Sunday. Today is actually the last day of performances. So I wanted to make this video before the tour leaves, and I don't have a, a pit orchestra to make a video about. Okay, we have made it into downtown Cincinnati. And now we are off to the theater. So the next step is I have to go through security and I'm not sure if I can take y'all through. So uh, we'll see what happens. We're in, we made it. Now I will expect everybody to send me a uh, PayPal request for tickets. So uh, just hit me up with your PayPal. Then we'll go from there. This is where the magic happens. Okay, so we've made it down here in the pit. Like I said, I am playing the Reed 2 part. Here is one little pick of my music. It's flute, clarinet, and alto sax. We've got Mr. Chris on Reed 1. He's playing piccolo, flute, clarinet, and alto. We've got Mr. Steve Hoskins. He is playing bass clarinet, flute, tenor sax, B-flat clarinet, and is that all? That's it. That is all. And then we've got a Mr. Eugene over here. He's playing Barry, bass clarinet, clarinet, that is what we have so far, and I will see y'all after the show. Okay, the show is now over, and somehow we are in Vermont. Let me explain. So it is currently Wednesday, December 18th, and don't get mad, I forgot about y'all. I'm sorry, but this is what happened. Finished the show on Sunday night, spent the whole Monday traveling to Vermont, which is where I am now, and now I start a show today. I'm starting to sound the music today, but let me get back to what we started on Sunday. Okay, people, it is December 25th. It's December 25th. And we are finishing this video today. We're gonna wrap this video up by telling you the biggest things I took away from this experience. Know where you're parking. Know how long it takes you to get from where you're parking to the theater, and then add an extra 10 minutes, because you know there's gonna be traffic. These are all things that I did not do. I should have done, but I didn't. So that is the first thing, get there early. Number two, come to the first rehearsal prepared. Now, in this specific instance with Hello Dolly, they sent the music and they sent the conductor video months ahead of when the actual gig was happening. So, in the conductor video, you got the soundtrack from the musical, you heard the cues, you heard the articulation, the dynamics, you heard everything you needed. You knew everything that was expected of you months before. And with that being said, you cannot show up to your first rehearsal unprepared. There's, I mean, they give you so many things, there's no way you can be unprepared unless you physically can't play the part. And if that's the case, don't take the gig. Because word will spread, and you're probably not gonna get any more work anymore. Hey, am I right? Mm-hmm. Number three, blending in your section. Now, when I first got to the Hello Dolly rehearsal, there were three other woodwind players, and they had all played with each other before. They understand how each other play, they know where the cutoffs are, they know the intonation, they know how everybody plays. I'm new, I have to figure all that stuff out for the first time, and I have to do it quickly. The quicker you can assimilate yourself into the group, the better the group sounds. And the better the group sounds, the happier the group is. And the happier the group is, the happier they are to hire you back. Number four. This was a big lesson for me, and that is to pace yourself. Now, brass players, I know y'all already know this, but as a woman player, I'm used to playing, you know, hours at a time, not having to worry about this at all. And after the first show, it felt great. No problems at all. I realized the first, second show, the first, second show of the first two-day show, that makes sense. Yeah, is when I started to feel like, ooh, that's, that's an exercise. So, woman players, I don't know about y'all, but I get tired. So you'll probably get tired too, so pace yourself. And number five, this is still something I'm working on today, is to talk to people. Hello Dolly was a pretty decently sized pit, and what I tend to do is I'll find some people that I feel comfortable with, and I'll just stick with them the whole time, 
So really I just stuck with the woodwind players and a few of the brass players throughout the entire time. And I should have talked to everybody, should have talked to some of the string players, the percussionist, the conductor, the keyboardist. If you ever find yourself surrounded by people in the business that have been in the business longer than you, ask questions. That's still something I'm working on today. But it's always great to talk to other people. You never know what they're doing. You never know if they ever need somebody else or if you can hook them up with another gig. This business is really based on connections, but besides just business-wise, make some new friends. You never know. Okay, y'all, that about sums up the major lessons I've learned on this Hello Dolly tour. If you liked the video, don't be afraid to smash that like button and share this video with your friends. But this being my first vlog, I need feedback, people. Leave your comments in the comment section down below. What did you like? What didn't you like? What did you want to see? What did you not want to see? Did I do something that you liked? Did I do something you didn't like? Tell me, because I can't tell if you don't tell me. We've got plenty of videos coming up in the future. I've got completely multi-tracks. I've got some stuff from Disney, some stuff from Hello Dolly, some stuff from Sound of Music. Subscribe to the channel so you can be up to date with the postings. And with that, I'm out of here. Y'all have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. I'll see you next year.